All right now, playing some Modern Warfare 2. Oh, where did this dude come from? Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness, you never know what you get in this game. Oh, guy camping in the corner in the back of his spawn. Oh, oh, what are, what are we doing? What are we doing now? Got a couple kills, fast hands, good to go. Oh, oh, who is this guy who's sitting there? Oh, it's the same dude. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Is that, is, is that how... Okay. Oh, oh, is this is this the same guy? Oh. No recoil. FS Hurricane able to outgun an AR at that range. While he's just sitting in the back of the map. Anyway, what's going on, guys? It's uh, Phantom here. Uh, you know, that that's basically sums up Modern Warfare 2 in a nutshell. You're just basically getting the... Uh, experience of a camping simulator uh, if you want to get some barbecue uh, maybe a couple s'mores and then uh, take a fire pit to go out camping uh, well then this game is for you because you're going to get a lot of camping experience in this game uh, this game just you know basically rewards campers for um, playing you know the play style they do there's no uh, mini map uh, no red dot site on mini map there is a uh, really really loud footstep audio uh, I could even you know I can't even imagine uh, being a soldier on the battlefield with having to deal with footsteps like that um, I don't even think you know if this is the way footsteps sound in this game I wonder how the mission in Call of Duty 2019 was that mission where you had to basically infiltrate a uh, terrorist house and then just sneak throughout the house quietly I wonder how that would go in real life if you know footsteps were actually that loud um, but anyway, that's enough about my rant today. Um, here we have some more Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. Um, right now I'm using the gold uh, M4, which seems to be the weapon that everybody got gold first. I know this was my first gold gun. Um, but yeah, I just I just wanted to you know bring up a couple of videos. Um, I do have a couple of videos uh, ready to upload uh, in the next couple of days. Uh, I couldn't find a good you know Black Ops 3 match uh, because I was getting into a lot of uh, lobbies with either uh, hackers, modders, or just aim modders. So it was a pretty rough experience on that game. I'm not gonna lie, um, but I still wanted to, you know, get some sort of, you know, gameplay for you guys to, you know, watch and be able to enjoy. Since I haven't, you know, uploaded uh, any sort of Call of Duty gameplay over the last couple of years, I just wanted to, you know, get the full refresher on everything and just, you know, give my uh, sort of review over the last couple of Call of Duty games, if I can get gameplay, that is. Um, but yeah, we have, you know, Call of Duty, uh, Modern Warfare 2 here. And, you know, the experience that I'm having with this game, it is really uh, hit or miss at times. Uh, I really want to uh, enjoy it more than I, you know, already have. Um, it's just that, you know, the map, for one thing, the maps in this game are just so dull. Uh, I think this map right here that I'm playing on right now, this is actually my favorite map in the game. Um, and the rest of the maps, they're just either meh or just downright terrible. Um, they're doing so bad with maps right now that they have to keep on porting over old maps from older Call of Duties. Um, like they do every year. They do Shipment, uh, they're doing Shoot House. Shoot House is an overrated map in my opinion. Uh, Shipment actually brought a you know a lot of fun to the game and um i really enjoyed that for what it's worth i was able to get my camo some of my camo grinds out uh through that map as always with the you know either the shipment 24 7 or the nuketown 24 7 uh, but yeah that's been pretty good this game is just just really hit or miss and i wanted to improve i wanted to do better for the for the greater good of call of duty because this you know i've been playing this franchise since i was 11 years old and i'm 23 now uh, I started my first Call of Duty game was World at War. Uh, excuse me, it actually wasn't World at War. It was actually Call of Duty 2, the big red one, uh, believe it or not. Um, so, you know, my, I'm a very, you know, veteran of this series. I'm one of the few veterans who uh, stuck with it through, all throughout the ups and downs. I have been there through uh, regular movement, boots on ground. I've been there through advanced movement with advanced warfare, um, starting the old jetpack era. And I'm here now. 
I'm, I could have been like the old Call of Duty guys, the old Call of Duty guys that are in their like 30s or 40s right now who are, you know, having family or whatever. I could have been like them and, you know, complained about, you know, how Call of Duty is going in a bad direction. But no, I was able to adjust to the gameplay. I was able to adjust to the movement styles and, you know, everything else into the game to uh, progress my way to becoming a better Call of Duty player. But, you know, the more I do this, the more I, you know, sit back through this game and, you know, you know, spend my 70, $60, or, well, excuse me, actually $70 now per year on this game and constantly getting disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. It is just frustrating. It is literally frustrating. Uh, Call of Duty 2019 was my one exception, and even that was pushing it. Uh, it, it was it was okay. Um, it was it was pretty solid. It got better in the later uh, months of the game, but its first uh, game in, it wasn't. It, it had like a rocky start. Uh, Black Ops 4, in my opinion, was terrible. Uh, I did play that game all year round. Uh, the only redeeming factor about that was being able to play prop hunt for, with my friend. Um, but yeah, this is just. Uh, I don't know how to say it. It's just basically. Um, it's iffy. Uh, Vanguard, I never even played Vanguard. I, that, I never, you know, I skipped Vanguard and Black Ops Cold War. I never do that for a Call of Duty. I skipped two Call of Duties in a row. I never do that. And that should say something. I've been a long advocate of this series. And, you know, with each iteration, it seems like they're pushing out their older base. And then, you know coming with the newer base, you know, the battle pass, the live service charge, the whatnot, and uh, they want to prioritize that. They want to compete with Fortnite. They want to uh, leave multiplayer to the dust and, you know, just, you know, compete with Fortnite with Warzone, and I don't think that's the right way to go. I don't think that's all. Uh, let's not forget our roots, you know, uh, Infinity War, Treyarch. Uh, I should be pointing at Treyarch mostly because they're the ones next for 2024. Um, get your roots together uh you know call of duty wasn't made on battle royale call of duty was made on a fun and exciting multiplayer where you can trash talk your you know teammates throughout the lobby you can't even do that anymore because they disband the lobbies after each match and i really do not like that because you know it's either you know one shot and you're out one shot you're out it's like it's like an nfl um playoffs where you only get one chance um to beat your opponent who's you know trash talking you and you know one strike and you're out and i think i think that's you know stupid you know being able to have a conversation in order to trash talk with your you know your teammates or your uh, enemy team at the end of the match or at the beginning of the match uh just you know you know set the tone of the game and everything but yeah this is this has just been my rant um about this game uh, i'm pretty pretty sure there's plenty more to come in the future uh, if not just regular discussions, but anyway, thanks for listening.